Okay, welcome back to the channel. And I get a lot of questions about uh, chaburi or the you know spinning of the, the blade to get the blood off of the blade. So what I want to do is a video on explaining exactly how and uh, why you do this type of uh, uh, motion. Okay, before you do this at all, I, I suggest you do this with a dull blade because if you drop it on something, it's going to you know cut the floor or something. And uh, also, uh, don't do this in the dojo or you know do it over the ground or you know somewhere that if it hits the ground, it's not going to you know bounce up and hit you. So there's uh, definitely be careful doing this. Okay, so. How am I going to get this thing to spin without losing control over it? Because I watch you know, a lot of people, they'll do this and they relax both their hands and they kind of do this and let it spin, but you don't have any control over it doing that. So I'm going to show you how, how to have control over this as it spins. So what I'm going to do is begin by showing you the basic principle of this. And once you get the basic principle, I'll show you how to add power to it. And then last, I'm gonna show you how to use your hips to actually do the spinning of the, of the weapon. So first, what you wanna do is you wanna start out with a pulling straight towards you. You don't wanna pull out this way, you wanna pull straight towards you. And what you're doing is you're hooking, because if you notice the blade or the uh, handle is oblong, or it's, real, it's, it's longer here than it is wide. So that gives you a little hook that you can grab with your fingers and pull with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm going to just hook and pull as I uh, pull straight towards me and that will turn the blade. And then if you do that a little faster, it will spin the blade a full revolution. Now as you're spinning the blade, you will notice you have to give a down pressure to, it's sort of, you push down and pull up at the same time so that when it spins, the tip won't move. It's very hard, it's, it's hard to do, but you're extending down as you're spinning, and then as you pull, it spins the blade by the pressure going down. So you're pulling this against this just perfectly so that the, the tip doesn't move. Okay, so front to back, it looks like this. If I'm holding this, this in this position, the idea is not to pull outward, but the idea is my elbow has to pull straight back because that's where my power is. So I'm going to pull and see as I pull, if I hook here, as I pull, it's rotating the blade, okay, to straight on. So it's going to rotate the blade straight in a straight position. When you first starting out learning how to do this, you pull directly to you and you grip to stop it. You don't hit it. So just pull up and stop with the bottom hand. Pull up, stop with the bottom hand. Pull up, stop with the bottom hand. Then after you get that down pretty well, then you can spin and then hit the blade. Now, one thing I want to say about spinning and hitting the blade, if you spin and you hit it, that has no meaning. But a lot of people do that, including myself, when you're just training because you don't want to destroy your, your weapon. But what you're actually doing is, if I'm going to spin this very fast, and it's going to spin very fast, what pulls all of the stuff off of the blade is the violent stopping of the, of the blade spinning. And that's why you're hitting it, is to stop the blade. So it's spin and stop the blade with the, with the, the force down to hit, that, uh, to hit that blade. And again, you don't want to do this on those alloy blade, yaitos, alloy blades, because I've actually broken two uh, alloy blades after 10 years. They both lasted about 10 years because after doing this and hitting it all, um, over and over and over again, you'll get a, a small crack through here, so always inspect your blade, but you'll get a crack and then eventually it will break. So that's why I use a steel blade now, is to, uh, you know, so that I don't <laughs> break, the, uh, break the blade. 
Okay, now the way I train is uh, to get a lot of pressure into this blade, you've actually got to use your hips because if I just use my arms, I can only go so fast with using my arm motion to, to make that spin happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the pressure in my hips and my breath control, hey! like to develop power to do that so that I can uh, move it from my hips and then you get a lot faster um, uh, rotation on the blade. So now, obviously, this hip is connected to this arm, this hip is connected to this arm, and you're not gonna really see it, but what I do is I, uh, I pulsate my hips, and then that's what gives a, a lot faster pressure to then put through the weapon. Okay, so the more advanced way to do is obviously using your hips to control the weapon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my hip power to actually move that weapon. So again, let's review. First, you're going to just start to, to hook the bottom of the blade and pull straight up so that you're pulling this way, not out, away from your center of power, but you're pulling straight up this direction. And then you get to where you can pull one rotation and then just spin the blade. So that the blade spins, the tip won't bounce up and down, it'll stay right where it is, and it'll spin, okay? It'll just spin around. Then get to where you spin, and then hit the blade soft, very softly. You don't need to hit it very hard, like this, okay? So that is how you, uh, the mechanics behind spinning the blade in a, uh, we use this in Katori Shinto Ru, but other styles will use this as well. Again, this is not a tutorial on how to do the Chaburi of Katori Shinto Ru. You need to find a qualified teacher out there and go study with them. And if they do something a little bit different than what I just demonstrated, then you can uh, mold into that, their way of doing that. Because there's many different ways of doing this technique.